Daniel Ricciardo has been heavily related to the Mercedes seat, and according to multiple sources, he might actually get it since there aren't many available options for him apart from this one. With many F1 teams giving up on him as a starting driver, the Aussie is left to settle for the reserve driver role if he wants to stay in the sport for good and conquer a seat in 2024. This is much easier said than done, and it seems like Ricciardo's chances have thinned down to Mercedes. However, Lewis Hamilton spoke about Ricardo and dropped a huge bombshell when it comes to his future in the Brackley-based team. So, is there a real opportunity that we'll see the Honey Badger in Mercedes as a reserve driver in 2023 and is there a chance that we'll see him as a starting driver in 2024? These questions and more will be answered in this video, so stick around with us just a little longer to find out more. Daniel Ricciardo has been related to multiple F1 teams since the start of the summer break and the silly season took full swing. However, it's very unlikely that he'll end up being a starting driver in 2023 and he'll likely have to accept the fact that no team wants him to be their first choice in the next season. But according to Damon Hill, there is a huge logic to the move that Ricardo will move to Mercedes as the former Red Bull star has been constantly linked to the Brackley-based team in the previous period. I think there is some logic to that. If you're at least with a top team, even if you're in the wings and waiting for the right opportunity, you will have information that is useful to another team, perhaps, potentially. But every team manager will be looking at him and everyone, every team will be looking at him and asking, where's the pace gone, coming back? And that is the big question mark, we don't know. Finished Hill. This has been emphasized by another expert on the paddock, Gunther Steiner. He spoke that Ricardo's departure from McLaren has not happened by coincidence, and therefore, the team needs to be careful when it comes to picking Daniel Ricardo or anyone else for the second seat that is likely to be left vacant by Mick Schumacher. This is why Corinne Chandog thinks that Ricardo should drive in 2023 if he's given the chance, as he disagreed with Hill, adding, I would like to see him race next year even if it means going somewhere like Haas, who are not championship contenders. But they've shown this year, on several occasions, that the car is perfectly capable of scoring points, said Curran. What's bad news for Ricardo is that although Mercedes is interested in his services, it's very unlikely that Hamilton will retire after the 2023 season. Rumors that the Brackley-based team is interested in the eight-time race winner to have been shared by Joe Sawad, who is a renowned F1 journalist, saying that Ricardo would fill in the gap between the arrival of Kimi Antonelli, who is currently racing in F4, and Hamilton's retirement. This means that the number one driver in the team would be Russell, as everybody would expect unless Ricardo can prove that he can outscore the Briton. But according to Hamilton, he is in perfect condition and he doesn't plan on giving up on the F1 seat anytime soon. On top of that, he said that if he was the RC's manager, he would have driven in F1 in 2023 and not settled for the reserve driver spot. Hamilton said, I think he's far too talented and he's earned the right to be amongst us all racing. If he's part of our team, that'd be great, but a third role is not really what's best for him. If I were managing him, he'd be racing," said Hamilton, who also added that he has never felt better in his 37th year of life and that he plans to extend the deal with Mercedes in the upcoming period. For me, I feel healthier than I've ever felt. I'm feeling fit. I love what I'm doing and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. My goal is to always be with Mercedes. I signed with them in 1997. I love that we have the long partnership we have. I feel like we're embarking on a lot of really positive things, not only in the sport, but outside, and I think there's a lot to accomplish together. I want to be a part of that." Finished Hamilton. With that being said, it's very unlikely that we'll see Ricardo racing anytime soon in F1, and retirement could be the only option that he'll consider in F1 if Ricardo fails to receive a spot in 2023. What do you think is next for the Aussie? Do you think that he deserves another chance after the bad two years in McLaren? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to stay connected with the silly season drama, click on this video to know more about De Vries joining Alpha Tori as part of the silly season after being noticed by all the top teams in his debut F1 career race.